you might have seen this ad. Now, this ad is a few years old, so it's not like I'm the first person to teach you guys this topic, of course, but in this video, we're gonna talk about how to take footage like this, like these clips I have here, and turn them into something that looks and feels kind of like that Beats by Dre commercial. I have a few tips before we get started that will help you make sure that this comes out the best it can possibly come out with what you have. All right, let's do this. So first tip is shoot with a higher shutter speed or shoot with a high frame rate or both. You're gonna have to stabilize and zoom in so the shutter speed when the moving will help it look a little better than if your shutter speed's low. So keep that in mind. Another thing is try to keep whatever object that you're going to be doing this to in the center. Essentially this entire concept is, is about match cutting along with a little bit of in post stabilization and then you piece that together and it looks really nice. So that's kind of what we're doing. And then finally, make sure that you're shooting your shot a little wider than you actually want the shot to be. You're gonna have to crop it and zoom in a little bit so you'll lose some quality. So shoot at the highest quality you can as well, but I think that's a given. But those three tips should at least help you get a better product out of this final look. So let's dive into After Effects and we're gonna talk about how to make that footage actually look and feel like the Beats by Dre commercial. Okay. okay, so we're in After Effects. I'm going to make a composition first and foremost. So quick new composition. Make sure that the settings are right. Mine are, so okay, cool. Now we have, we can see our frame. This is our composition right here. From here, in our composition, we can go ahead and choose our footage. So I have this shot I'm gonna drag in. So I'm gonna take that shot, drag it down to the composition timeline and drag it in and drop it, right? Now we're here, make sure it's selected. Click it in your timeline and your whatever. Go over to the tracker panel. If you don't have the tracker panel, go to window, down, tracker, click it, it'll pop up over here. From there, press stabilize motion, and then we'll have this little track point, this track point one in my case, it's a little square. Uh, if you can't see it or if it's not big enough, just scroll in, you'll zoom into the shot here. Grab the square that's around the small square, like in the center there, that way you can drag it around. We're gonna hold space bar and click and drag to use our hand tool but we're gonna drag this center point onto the actual headphones, which is right here. This outside square is going to be a like boundary safety guideline, if you would. So I'm gonna put that a little bigger than the actual object. And then I'm gonna take the center square and we're going to center it on the object itself, maybe make it roughly the size of the object. Just, just, just a rough, you know, coverage, if you would. Now scroll back out. Now you'll see that our shot has that tracker square over the headphone, that's what we're gonna be tracking. We're just telling information to After Effects that hey, this is the object in frame we want you to track. This time, press the little analyze button, the analyze forward button, click it. A few moments later. Make sure we got that track in just right. We can watch it back. If we don't like it, we can reanalyze the tracking. I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply. All we're gonna do is hit apply, apply dimensions for X and Y, press okay. And now we can see that it's it's got a black section on the side of it and it's kind of off centered. And that's because now our headphone is where the stabilized motion is gonna be. We only have a little bit left. So as we scroll through here, we can see that the footage nicely balances on that point. However, it's not centered. And we have a lot of black barred areas around the frame where that's like the background frame that the video doesn't exist in. So what do we do about that? What I like to do is press this little button here, which is like the guide grid line option thing, click it. Title action safe because you get that little nice crosshair in the center. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in again. You see the crosshair right here. From here, go down to transform. I'm going to scale this up to about 125 at the, at the lowest. And we can see that it's got a nice boundary around hopefully what we won't have to reframe in the future. And I'm going to click uh, position here and position it so the headphones in the center of the frame. Let's go ahead and bring this up to 140-ish. Headphone once again is pretty centered. I'm not gonna worry about making it perfectly centered because I don't wanna zoom in as much as I don't have to. From here, if we play this back, you can see the headphone is in the center of the frame. The frame is bobbing up and down with the headphone. That's because it's tracked perfectly there. And, and that's it. That's all you have to do. That's the entirety of it. Now, what you can go ahead and do next is drag each one of these shots on this left side here into its own composition. That way you can individually work on each one of them, bring it back in Premiere Pro, then piece it together and cut it where it works with the music in your edit. And with that, this is the final product. As cool as Beats by Dre one, I think it's because there's a better story there, but I think that if you're just going for a simple little, you know, extra bit of interest to your actual content that you're making, this is kind of a cool feature just to throw in there as a little, you know, couple second segment. I wouldn't overdo it. But that's all, thanks for watching. I feel like I'm mumbling over my words today a lot. It's been like a rough, long morning. However, uh, 
see you soon with another video. We're going to start putting out more videos as much as I possibly can. So until then, see you later.